This is the EF EcoFlow River 2. Here I have it set up in my shed and I have it hooked up to a power strip which is plugged into my rock tumbler. So I use this to power my rock tumbler. You can see that it is charging from solar panels that I have installed on the top of my shed. I can plug that in there and then plug in some power. Works really well, really cool design, nice and small. You can see here's the box that it comes in. So yeah, this is not a big, massive portable power station. This is a smaller unit. Got a power cable and this unit itself, you can see everything is on the front. So nice and easy to access on the back. You can plug in the power either from the wall or from solar. And then it has a really nice display. The display shows the input and the output, and it shows how much time is remaining in hours or minutes, whether it's charging or discharging. So you can see it charges really fast. You can charge this thing from zero to 100% in an hour, which is really, really cool and impressive. So here I've got a light behind it. I'm powering the light on. Just so you can see what it's like on the display, you can see it's using about 50 watts of power. So doing this, I could use it for three hours. Another nice thing is it has an app. So there's a QR code. You just use that to download the correct app. And then you have to register an account. Go we'll look for the device. You pair it and then you hook it up with Wi-Fi. And then with the app, you can see all of the same information that you can see on the front. It looks really slick. You can turn on the AC or the DC. And then you can do a bunch of different other settings on the back, like setting different timeouts. You can even set discharge or charge level. So if you don't want it to charge fully or discharge fully, you can set this here on the app. You can update the firmware to this on the app as well. I like this because it's LifePo 4. So here it is in my shed at night in freezing temperatures, still going strong, still working great, even despite the cold. Here is on Thanksgiving Day, I was cooking. I wanted to keep cooking as I was traveling. So I hooked this up to the slow cooker and it worked great. So I was able to travel and cook at the same time using this. It's nice and small. So it wasn't a bother at all to set this up. So I got this for free to do this review. I also have the EF EcoFlow Delta, which is much bigger and I use it all the time. I really like EF EcoFlow. They make really, really nice portable power stations. Here are the things I like about this. The display is great. The app is great. It's nice to be able to use the app. Another thing I really like about this is that it is LifePo4. This gives me a lot of flexibility. I like to use portable power stations in my shed, but it gets really hot in the summer and really cold in the winter. LifePo4 does that better than lithium ion batteries do. And you have a lot more charge cycles with this. Obviously, this is very lightweight. It's not as powerful as a lot of other portable power stations. But what this does work really well for is if you need to keep something charged all the time via USB-C, like maybe if you have a device like in my shed, I have a thermometer. I need to keep it plugged in all the time. It doesn't use very much power, but I have it charging via solar with the sun. So I can use this to charge my thermometer 24 seven, 365 days out of the year. And it works just fine because I'm using it to charge low power devices. Now I only have one complaint with this unit. And that is if you are charging a device that is 15 Watts or less, it does not display the output for that on the output. I don't know why I thought this was maybe a bug. I wrote to EcoFlow and they explained to me anything 15 Watts or less, it shows a zero. It's kind of weird and unfortunate. And hopefully with a firmware upgrade in the future, that will be fixed. We'll see. But for now, yeah, this is a great option for powering low power devices, especially devices you want to keep on all the time. But the only way you can do that is via solar. This works great.